Hi, this is Arthur from the Minute Review Show. If you have a minute, I have an opinion. If you're visiting Chicago's Chinatown and love old-style Chinese Cantonese food, it's worth a visit to Evergreen Restaurant, where I found the nostalgia to be overwhelming. The restaurant is located on the southern end of Chinatown. Its dining room is large and has that 1980s pinkish Hong Kong style look. We were greeted by the waitress, who handed us a couple of gigantic menus. As you could see. There were pages and pages of Cantonese dishes, so many it took me over 15 minutes to decide what to order. Today we're at Evergreen Restaurant in Chicago's Chinatown. I've heard that it's one of the oldest Cantonese restaurants in uh, Chicago's Chinatown, and、um, I wanted to try specifically a dish that they have here, which is a seafood basket.、Um, basically, it's a taro basket. That is filled with seafood.、Um, not many places make it anymore. Not even in New York City.、Uh, so、um, yeah, just want to give it a try. And、uh, also, we ordered five additional dishes、uh, in addition to the seafood basket. So、uh, let's give it a try and、uh, see how it goes. Our first order was the fish maw soup, a thick soup filled with fish maw and shrimp. The first dish that we're having is the fish maw soup, and、uh, fish maw soup looks like this. There's、uh, bits of fish maw, which is fish bladder, and、uh, also there's some shrimp, and、uh, it looks like there's some、uh, egg in it too.、So、let's give it a try. Mmm. Okay. This is pretty good. I can tell that the fish maw, the fish belly, is a denser variety, so it's more chewy.、Um, the broth is very good.、It、has good salty flavor. And let's try some of the shrimp. Once again, fresh shrimp. And yes, I do see a large bit of egg white in the、uh, soup. So this is exactly how it should be made, and this is a pretty good version. The next dish was short ribs with honey and teriyaki sauce, recommended in many reviews. We also got a free large bowl of white rice. Okay, now the. Short ribs, short ribs with honey and teriyaki sauce is out. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Okay. The sweet, honey sweet, teriyaki sweet, chewy, and it's just delicious overall. It's like beef candy. I like this dish. Not bad. We ordered the classic seafood in a taro basket, a rare find these days. Okay, I ordered the、uh, seafood basket. Seafood basket is a very old style Cantonese dish that you can find in、uh, many old school Cantonese restaurants. I'm going to eat each component. So, first component is a squid. That's what it looks like. Anka. As with Cantonese cuisine. The seafood is very mild in flavor, just salt, but just very good. This is exactly how the old school seafood basket should taste. The next component is the shrimp, so let's give that a try. Once again, it's exactly what should taste. The shrimp is very fresh, has that nice snap to it. I love it. And finally, we're going to eat the. Taro. This is what the taro looks like. So let's give that a try. Now, here's a very good crunch. That's exactly what the taro basket should be. So this is how I remember it. That's how they did it 20, 30, 40 years ago, and I was there. This is very good. Brings back a lot of good memories. Next, we ordered stir-fried snow pea leaves with tofu. The next dish I'm trying is the、uh, snow pea shoots. Snow pea shoots are basically snow pea leaves, and they look like this. Okay, so let's give this a try because this is different. Because we ordered a snow pea leaf dish with braised tofu. Never had that before in New York. So uh, let's uh, first try the snow pea leaves and see how they are. 
Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, the dominant flavor here is the uh, braising sauce, which uh, I think is an oyster sauce, but a little dialed down with maybe a chicken broth. And um, it's actually very good. The second po component of this dish is the tofu. This is what the braised tofu looks like. Let's bite into that. Wow. Now this braised tofu is excellent. There's a flavor on the outside. It Basically it's the oyster sauce flavor. It's on the outside. And um, what it does is that it retains the flavor on the outside shell. And when you bite into the tastelessness of the tofu, it actually pairs pretty well. And it's nice and balanced, not too salty, which is a plus. I discovered that the the uh, tofu is an egg tofu. The uh, egg tofu that comes in large, uh, long, contain long strips in a long roll that you cut into slices. So uh, egg tofu it goes really well with the snow pea shoots, and uh, they execute executed it quite well. Next, we ordered salt and pepper pork chops. Okay, next dish, dish that we ordered is the Dugim uh, Guat, which is a salt and pepper pork, pork chop. So they cut it up in these little bites, which is pretty good. So uh, let's give it a try. Uh, but first, you see that there's some jalapenos and some uh, green onion on top, and plenty of garlic. Mm. Okay, this is very good. The one thing I noticed is that this place cuts it a little thicker, but it's still delicious. Very juicy, nice fat in the pork, delicious. And finally, we ordered chicken with salted fish fried rice. Okay, the next dish we ordered is the salted fish and chicken fried rice. This is what it looks like. There are small bits of salted fish and chopped up little cubes of um, chicken breast in here. Tiny little bits. And uh, this is pan fried. Let's give it a try. Now, those of you who know what this dish is, you know that the salted fish is very savory and uh, it is basically an umami bomb that will make your entire uh, dish of fried rice taste extra good and um, it will make you want to eat more and more and more and more rice and um, this is exactly what it does this, di this dish is absolutely delicious and just a quick invitation to subscribe to my channel we hope you like this video we do these videos once a week and hope you can join us. Okay, now what can I say about this meal? This meal is actually very close to classic Chinatown Chinese food that you would have gotten 20, 30, or even 40 years ago. Now, I came here for the basket and that did not disappoint. Um, the only thing that I can criticize about it is that there should have been maybe some scallops in there, but mainly it was shrimp and uh, squid but um, I thought it was okay. The taro basket was delicious. It was so crunchy. We, we almost ate that first <laughs> and ignored the seafood. <clears throat> but um, anyhow, um, we had the, those other dishes. All the dishes um, were flavored exactly as you would expect at for a Cantonese meal. The uh, fried rice with the, uh, with the uh, salted fish, exactly what you would expect, um, nice, lots of umami and delicious same goes for the pork chops pork chops were cut a little thick but that was okay because there was plenty full pork chops and uh, the uh, teriyaki um, short ribs were okay it's something new i never tried that before but it came recommended from a review that i read so uh, i was very happy with that and finally the waiter recommended a um, snow pea shoots with the uh, tofu never had that dish before I usually have it with garlic sauce, but this dish was actually pretty good with, um, a, and it was served with uh, oyster sauce. Now, um, in terms of prices, I am expecting that the prices are going to be very good because when I looked at the menu, it was really, really competitive. The prices 
from what I can tell, were anywhere between $13 to $16 per entree. And uh, we're going to take a look at the bill when it comes, and uh, that will probably confirm what I uh, am going to be paying at the end of this meal. Here's the bill. The bill, from what you can see, is $115.90. That includes tax, taxes. And no dish is greater than $19.95. Very good.